YouTube. This is the budget that uh, kind of made me kick my butt into gear. This is our December 2017 budget. And this is the first time that I ever tracked my spending. Uh, and uh, it definitely taught me a lot that we, my husband and I are not saving as much as we thought we were and that we do truly need a budget. So I created this budget uh, using Gazelle Intense's spreadsheets and they linked a video of exactly how they set up their budget. I followed that step by step. Um, here is the budget that I created using their template. Now, I think in coming months, you might see that I've tweaked it a little bit, but generally this is how our finances look. And this is uh, the template that I'll be using for that. And I will link their videos below so that you can see this. Okay, so in this column right here, we have the budgeted amount. Um, this is my husband's job as consultant. We budgeted that he would probably make about 4200 um, because December had an extra Friday, he actually made $5,200. Um, regardless of that, we still had to take out about $600 from our emergency fund uh, because we had a home emergency that we had not saved for at all. Uh, and we had $655.95 remaining at the end of November that carried over into this budget. So this is the first time I created a budget. This is the first um, sort of uh, time that I ever really wrote down my finances when my bills are due, when everything like that happens. So this month we had a really great income. We made $6,529.99. Um, but yet we still had to borrow from our emergency funds and get a supplemental insurance. Now this column right here for swimming lessons, I teach swimming lessons in the summer. Supplemental is just whatever we get in addition that was unbudgeted for. And so I put that we borrowed 600 from our sinking funds. Our mortgage stays the same, 798.05 a month. Our mortgage is pretty low. Um, car insurance stays the same every month. Health insurance stays the same every month. Cell phones stays the same every month. Cable and internet um, generally stays the same. However, in January it went up, so we're going to have to call them about that. Um, our Dominion Energy, this bill increased, but it is in the winter, so we kind of figured that was okay. And right here, this WF stands for Wells Fargo. That comes out of our Wells Fargo account. The CC means that it comes out of our credit card account. Water and electric, um, I just took this number and I looked at the uh, the general number for all of the months previous and I came up with $135, that was about the same. Pet care, um, my husband stocked up, he got two months supplies worth of dog food and so we went over a little bit but we shouldn't need to spend as much next month. Groceries was a big hit. It's Christmas time. It's December. Um, we have a lot of family events and just a lot of things that we've been doing. And so we, when I set this budget up, I thought, oh, we probably only spend about three hundred a month on groceries. Nope. Once I started tracking it, I found out that we spent five hundred thirty-four dollars and eighty-seven cents in December. Tithes and offerings because we made more money, we paid more tithing for that ten percent. Um, prescriptions. This really hit us this month. I'm pregnant. I have a lot of pregnancy related um, issues like I need iron supplements. I take uh, diaclegis for nausea and just a bunch of other things. Um, and then our baby got sick and then we had to get him some prescriptions. So that was a huge hit to our finances. This is the first time we ever created a gas budget um, for our, our car. I uh, we we said, oh, we probably spent about $90 for gas. Nope. This month we spent almost $165. Um, so we are probably a little bit unrealistic as far as our gas needs go. We'll have to raise that. Home repairs, we had zero budgeted. Um, 
and this is the first charge of many that you will be seeing for our home repair that we have to do our bathroom flooded we got about eight hundred dollars from our insurance back um however we have more projects that need to be done in there than the insurance covered and so uh we have been pulling from our emergency fund to cover that now you would think with a an income of six thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars and twenty nine cents that we really shouldn't have needed to pull this uh extra six hundred dollars but we did not budget for christmas and we just um put all of our we just thought oh we'll just you know buy christmas when it comes in december we spent over fourteen hundred dollars on our christmas spending so that brought our total bills uh to five thousand one hundred thirty eight dollars and eighty seven cents now these are some sinking funds some things that you know I realized oh maybe next time we have an emergency we could prepare for something like that I know that um I need to have three thousand dollars for my delivery and so we've been saving for that. We had $2,000 already set aside. <laughs> this month we put away $45. Um, and uh, that is the only sinking fund that we even hit. We have a goal of $500 a month. But because Christmas was so much and we had some home repairs, we only put $45 into the sinking fund. And we didn't hit any of our sinking, additional sinking funds where... Um, you know, if we have something that happens to our house, we own a house, it's inevitable that something will happen to it. So why we didn't have a sinking fund set up, I don't know. Um, it's just not something that I've really thought about. Uh, car repairs, we have a car. So it makes sense that we should have money set aside to repair our car. And so we have now a budget in place that we have been hitting really hard in January to fill all of these needs. Um, but because we <laughs> didn't have a system, in pl uh, a plan system, um, we spent over $1,400 at Christmas that so was unbudgeted. So this uh, coming January, I know now that... We probably didn't need to spend $1,400 on Christmas. But let's say we spend $1,200. Well, $1,200 would mean we put away $100 a month. So coming January, I can start putting $100 a month aside so that I can have, when December rolls in, I can have $1,200. And hopefully we can stay within that budget and not make stupid mistakes where we spend money that we don't really have when we need to... Um, have you know savings set aside for the types of things that uh, you know might come up we had we didn't we've never had a closed budget and so my husband and I like we haven't really been buying clothes since we've been married because we've just been trying really hard to save money and um, I'm starting to realize that a budget gives us freedom because you know once um, we start putting aside money for clothes, then the next month you can say, hey, I have that money. I have a clothing need. I can go buy that. And you don't have to feel guilt or pressure. Um, so these are sinking funds that we have set up. We have baby delivery, I, Edwin College Fund. Um, his fund is lower than our next baby college fund because we've already put quite a bit in it his first year and um this second baby that we're going to be having will be putting quite a bit of money aside into his college fund this year and then in the next year we'll probably keep it about eight dollars and 34 cents a month which equates to about a hundred a year which isn't a ton um but for now this is where we're at Home repairs, uh, we're going to set aside $100 a month. I want to build that up someday to about $4,000 in case we have another disaster again. This anniversary fund is big right here because in January, 
we have our anniversary, and so hopefully in January we can set aside $200 for that anniversary that's coming up. Family vacation, uh, we just have a goal to save about $1,000 and go somewhere fun. So come October, hopefully we'll have that. Car repairs, because it's inevitable, we have to get safeties and emissions checked each year. Um, our registration, we have to, you know, who knows when you're going to need new tires or any other sorts of things that happen. Christmas, we talked about yard care. Um, we have some people who take care of our yard every month. That's about $200. And I thought, you know, why don't I start putting that money aside now so that when the summer months do hit, I will have an excess of cash in case we, you know, I always have to buy things like fertilizer, um, like if we want a new plant or something like that. Um, so if if they need if they need additional tools, it's nice to have that money at the beginning of the season. So when they tell me, you know, hey, we need X, Y, and Z for your yard, I will have some money set aside. And then hopefully I'll have enough saved up that I also have enough to pay my my people who work on my yard as well. Birthdays, um, I think I'm gonna bump this up next month and maybe lower my yard care or something like that um to yeah I think I'll definitely do something with that because um right now we don't have a holiday sinking fund as far as like uh valentines and um halloween and I'll need something um in addition to just birthdays um to cover that, so it might be like a birthday holiday fund, and I'll maybe slough a little bit more in there. Clothing, $50, which will be really nice. Um, then we created some leisure funds. Uh, we said about $100 should go into eating out. We spent $109.51 this month. Um, we decided also to give ourselves an allowance, which we've never had. <laughs> um, we didn't do that this month. I, I just wrote down what we spent this month instead of like how much we set aside right here. Uh, so this is how much we spent and we went on zero dates in um, December. So with all of that, the total money spent was about 5000 $329.83. I kept $1,200 remaining because our mortgage is due on the first of the month along with um, our car insurance and those both come out of our Wells Fargo account. And so that is about $900. And I thought, you know, it would probably be good to have a $300 buffer in there. So um, half of that $600 that I took out of our emergency fund Half of it came, or half of it went towards our mortgage payments and, um, or, sorry, so the full 600 went towards our mortgage payments and our other bill that came out on the first, our car insurance. And then um, another 300 went towards that too, and then we had 300 remaining after those bills were paid to uh, do things like groceries and other needs that we have. So this is the month that I kind of, in the middle of the month, realized that we were in a huge financial crisis, especially when we had um, plumbing issues in our bathroom. So this is when I started like to really sit down and look at our numbers. And this is the month where I realized that, hey, we really do need a budget and we need to figure out where our money's going because we had an amazing income, but we didn't have a chance to put any money aside uh, and to cover some of the basic things that we should have covered. Like I would feel really relieved if I had $3,000 in my baby delivery fund because I'm due any day now. And uh, at the current moment, um, we have about 2700 but it would be nice if we can just go in there when we go to the hospital and I can give them my card and know 100% that I am covered fully with my payment. And so uh, not being able to set enough money aside for that is really, really what created the sinking fund or this budget because um, I don't have peace of mind right now. And so 
I uh, come January, my husband and I really, really uh, kicked things into gear. And the next January spread or the next budget spreadsheet, you will see that we were able to fund a lot of our accounts and to put more money in our baby baby delivery fund. And hopefully, I will get that out to you next week. Um, but yeah, this is where <laughs> this is where our finances are right now. Our big goals are to have a fully funded baby delivery fund. Um, our next goal would probably be to start our 529 for our second baby and put $1,000 into that this year. Our goal after that is to um, finish uh, probably um, supplying the emergency fund that we took money out of because we had an emergency in our bathroom flooding. Then after that, um, we're going to work on our 15% to our uh, retirement plans. And then after that, um, we're going to try really hard to get our mortgage paid off. So those are our short-term financial goals. Hopefully, we can start working on the mortgage by April, May, somewhere in there. Um, hopefully, we can use a lot of this income that we get, this good income, to supplement our baby delivery fund and have that in place here shortly. Okay, I hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye.